Please explain the SDGs and related to the situation in Kenya. And these are 17 goals, as you can see them here. And out of those goals, each one of you, meaning each of the private company, should look into them and see which goal they should engage on. Now, unfortunately, general public and in Kenya, only 33% knows about SDGs. But out of those 33% in Kenya, 90% of them, of the general citizens, say that they will buy products from those who are engaging with SDGs. Private sector, this is awakening call. The most important SDG in Kenya and globally is about decent work and economic growth. Jane, the question for you is, mention one or two issues, sustainability inclusive issues, which are important in your sector, and then come with the solutions you are bringing to the sector, because you are, as I said, a leading lady in bringing sustainability and inclusiveness in your sector. So mention one or two um, issues and tell us what you do about it to improve um, those situations. Kenya Flower Council is celebrating 20 years this year. Back in 1996, one of the biggest issues that motivated the formation of the Kenya Flower Council was the negative perception of the industry and its practices, negative perception. And what the industry then did is to look at how they could work on this perception by addressing the issues that were of concern to the stakeholders, i.e. the environment, i.e. the social issues, and of course maintain uh, their businesses and focus on quality. Because the companies focused on addressing issues that were key to their customers, key to their stakeholders, they have actually done very well. And that is why right now, the Kenya fly industry is bringing into this country about 60 billion Kenya shillings every year. So okay. the profits are there, the industry good, looks good. If you look around the room, you see some fantastic flowers. We have a yep. fantastic product. And I think the quality, the success of the business is because they focused on the environment under which they do their businesses. Maybe some other inspiring uh, solutions, examples for the people to, to inspire them to do the same that you do. So what can you bring us? Yeah, thank you. What, what we found is we work with Kenyan initiatives. So we only work with things that are on the ground. Our, our program has the name innovation in its title. But we're talking about innovation in business models that work in this economy. We've seen in healthcare over and over again things uh, try to be ported over from India or South Africa in particular and just put down in the Kenyan environment. And in particular, they don't work. In fact, they fail most of the time. So we try to work with, with existing local initiatives. Almost everything we work with is Kenyan driven. So not only FarmNet and pharmacy, we're working with Kenya Medical Association on DocNet, which is a doctor's network, and the laboratory scientific officers on LabNet. So we've got a proper path to treatment in private sector networks that actually leverage the public sector's enforcement capacity. So the public sector has the health of the public in mind, but the private sector ha has business sustainability in mind, and, and the two actually come together really well.